I'm Joe Chazen. I'm a physician in the community. I'm a nephrologist, and I've been doing that uh, for about 40 years. <clears throat> and about 30 years ago, I was introduced to collecting art and um, met artists. And then, uh, what was it, 20 some odd years ago, I met Bert. And Bert gave the show its name, which is Networks 2008. Well, I'm Bert Kranka, director of Asatorian and an artist. I'm particularly interested in having the community be exposed to art forms and have an environment that's more uh, pleasant and primarily created by artists who live in the community, being defined more or less as Rhode Island. So uh, with that in mind, um, I felt that it would be interesting to try to document some of these artists and the Rhode Island artist scene, if you will. The uh, project began simply. We would have portraits made of the artists and they'd be archived in uh, AS220. And this would be a beginning of trying to determine how best to uh, create a history of this period. I, mean, I want to just make it clear that by no stretch of the imagination are we saying this in any way that these are the best artists in the state or that this is a, a broad sampling even of, the, of what's represented in the state. In some senses it lacks a certain degree of diversity um, but these are the, a lot of the first contacts that Joe had and a lot of artists that he's collected and supported over the years and this is where we begin. Both of us start from the assumption that if you want to do something, you ought to be able to do it. And the idea is to find out how to do it, not why you can't do it. Of course, Bert is uh, pretty ambitious and has grand ideas, so he pushed me along in this process uh, with the idea that maybe we would have videos so that you could get a thumbnail sketch of the artist in this particular setting of a program for general consumption throughout the state and maybe elsewhere. We had uh, Richard Goulas, who is a video artist of extreme competence, in charge of that part of the program. And he uh, hired and dealt with a number of video artists to create videos. So we now had portraits and videos, and so we've dec we decided to have a show of the portraits and the videos at AS220 in their new space in the Dreyfus. As we discussed this, it was felt that a companion catalog would be uh, an addition, and it would be even more interesting if there was a companion show at a museum showing works of art that these particular artists had created. And Nancy Whipple Grinnell, the curator at the Newport Art Museum, embraced this concept. And then finally, we spoke with Jesse, the owner of Five Traverse Gallery, with the idea that perhaps uh, there could be a commercial outlet. And he embraced that. So we now have a very ambitious program and we'll see how it plays out. The perspective that I would bring to it is that the, the city of Providence and the state of Rhode Island is sort of falling into a kind of brand, this lively creative community becoming sort of the brand of the city and the state. Um, and that's something that I know is kind of a fickle status, that there are other communities that, because of affordable space and things like that, these communities build up and develop, and then it can, tends to move, they, these areas gentrify, whatever, they tend to move out. It's always been the mission of AS20 and my own personal interest in creating this, these kinds of creative communities and these environments that are sustainable. So the documentation process that we've engaged in is a sort of a symbolic gesture to sort of model in a kind of different level of self-consciousness about who we are as an arts community. And I think that in and of itself contributes to the sustainability and the kind of myth building that, you know, you know, what's real, what's myth? You know, you, you go back and forth and you, you add to that, uh, you add to the myth, but as you're adding to the myth, it becomes more real. 
you know, so it, it's sort of just another strategy on how to strengthen this, the, the community, strengthen the public's realization of the strength of the community, and in, in a sense, it's a way of helping to sustain that reality, you know, that this is a really creative community and that there's these incredibly dynamic artists who are contributing in any number of ways. This is a concentrated, considered effort. Uh, to begin to, to take ourselves that much more seriously as a, an artist, as a creative community. Mm -hmm.